Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a bundle that's from the new mini catalog that's available from January through June this year, 2021. The bundle that I want to share with you is called Brushed Blooms. This is the one here. This is the stamp set, and then it has some dies that goes with it. I have the actual stamp set here. And there's 10 dies that come in it. There's this really fun, well, there's all these cute flowers. There's some that cut out some of the flowers in the set. And then there's some that you can build flowers with. And there's also this really pretty brush stroke big die that I've um, really loved. And I kind of want to show you a card that I come up, came up with using this die itself. So let's get into that. I'm going to start by showing you this beautiful rainbow glimmer paper. This is the paper that I'm going to use in the backing of my card. So like this. And then I've already pre-cut out that die, that cute brush stroke look. And I also, I'm not sure how well you can see that in the video, but I ran it through the painted texture 3D embossing folder. I, just to give it just that little bit of texture on there and it's super cute, love that. So I'm going to just put this right over the top of my rainbow paper like this. So I'm gonna use glue dots to do that. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna put a glue dot in each corner of my rainbow paper here. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna overlay this right over the top of that. Make sure it's covering all my places. Just like that. So cute. So you have a cute rainbow glittery background there. Okay. And then I'm also going to adhere that right on top of my card base. And I'm using just black with that too. I'm going to use dimensionals and just one in each corner. And adhere that on like so. I'm going to stamp this flower and I'm going to use Melon Mambo. And let me show you how I'm going to stamp it. I kind of love a two-tone look. So I'm going to stamp it down one time and then I'm just going to shift my flower over and stamp again um, without re-inking my stamp so that I kind of get that two-tone um, look with the stamped off for the second one. Does that make sense? So that's what my flower is gonna look like. And then I'm gonna die cut that, which I already have done here. So that's how it turns out. And I am going to just layer this here with my saying from this set, happy birthday. So I'm gonna put that right under here, like this, just like that. And then we'll dimensional my flower up. Oh, but you know what? Before I put that down, I do want to put a little bit of ribbon behind my flower. I'm just going to kind of fold it back and forth like that. Cut that. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to peel back my dimensionals here and they're going to help me hold that ribbon on Pull that one just a little there just like that and then I'm going to adhere that down and then one more step I love this black and white baker's twine so I'm going to tie just a little bow just a teeny tiny one and that is going to go right in the center of my flower and I'll put it on with a glue dot just like that. So cute. Such a fun and easy card, but it comes together so quickly. So let me show you a few other cards that I've come up with using this stamp set. I have one other that I've done. It's done the, the opposite direction here. And I used the saying, let's paint the town as long as I'm home by nine. I love that saying in this stamp set. I have a friend who 
I, for the life of me, I can never understand, but she's like in bed by 8.30 every night. So this goes to her because she loves to go out and have fun as long as she's home by 9 because she has to go to bed. <laughs> so I thought I would give this card to her and just let her know how much I love her. And then I came up with this card. This card actually, the inspiration from it came from one of my masks that I have. <laughs> I loved the coloring and the flowers on it. And so that's where I got the coloring from that. Just because. And then for my forever friend, there's this stamp in here that's these polka dots. And I just stamped it all along the the background there and I thought it gave such a cute look and I love the bright colors coming off of it. So fun. This pops so good. So this is one of my new favorite stamp sets that Stampin' Up! has come out with. I'm so excited to play with it and come up with some more ideas. If you have some ideas you want to share, make sure to post them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.